There are many reasons you might want to add a flash object to a PowerPoint presentation to enhance it. First, you might want to just animate a graphic. There are thousands of graphics already created in Flash that could be entered into a PowerPoint presentation. There are also thousands of learning activities that have been already created on almost every topic, if only you know where to look and find them. Also, you can find uh, feedback mechanisms, um, serve as quiz or assessment checks for learners and students to help them gauge their learning as they're going through this, uh, this process. Now, first of all, to do this, you want to go to the the ribbon on the top of the screen in PowerPoint, make sure that your developer tab is visible. If not, go to this icon over on the left in the top, click on it, go down to the bottom where it says PowerPoint Options. And it will bring up this uh, box. You can make sure that the third bullet down, the Show Developer tab in the ribbon, is selected. If it isn't, click it and hit OK. From here, you then select this slide that you would like to enter the flash object in. Now for the purposes of this um, I'm just using a, a generic presentation on Carl Rogers and uh, we've just gone over his major accomplishments and it would be great to have a stopwatch here that as we're showing the students we can maybe have a contest between groups to see how many each group can come up with in a time but we need a stopwatch. There are many stopwatches uh, made in Flash that we could embed here. The one I chose to use is from www.onlinestopwatch.com. I downloaded that, and what I will do is go to the Developer tab, and right here in the Controls portion of that tab, click on the wrench and the hammer. It brings up this box, and I want to scroll to almost the very bottom of the uh, options, all the way down in the S's, Shockwave Flash Object. Click on it and select OK. From here you'll notice that your cursor has now turned into crosshairs. You click and drag where you would like it to be, and right now it's just an X. Don't worry about that yet. And if you didn't get the shape right, you can reshape it and reposition it wherever you like it to be. From here, go ahead and right right click in the box and hit properties. You'll notice it will bring up uh, this really intimidating looking box. Don't worry about that yet. Now go and open the file that has the flash object in it. It's a really good idea to save that flash object in the same file that you have saved your PowerPoint presentation. Here is my flash object. This is what it looks like and you right click on it and click properties. From here you go to where it says location and right here you want to select all of this right click and copy. Go back now to your PowerPoint presentation on the movie line click the box right next to that right click and click paste. At the very end of this hit another backslash and type in the name of the file. Now if you don't remember the name, you go down to where you were to the properties box and if you'll notice, the name of it is going to be in this box here. For purposes of this, it is bomb-countdown, all lowercase. Go back to your PowerPoint presentation to the end and type in now the name of the file, bomb dash countdown at the very end you want to hit dot swf for a flash file go up to the red x click it and though it doesn't look like it's there it is so go to the slideshow view click it and notice here is our flash object the stopwatch we can set the stopwatch let's go 10 seconds and hit set it's ready to go for our students 10 seconds now to name as many as you can we click start and you'll notice that uh, this very simple flash object is kind of fun. It lets the students know where they're at in time. And all of a sudden, and you can restart it and readjust and, uh, and go back and set the time again. There's just a lot of fun things you can do with flash objects. Have a great day.